Hi everyone, it's Miss Luciano here with Penelope and Michael, and we are going to read you a book. This book is called What This Story Needs is a Pig in a Wig. It's a rhyming story. It's a rhyming book. Do you know rhymes? Yes, that means they sound the same at the end. For example, cat rhymes with bat. House rhymes with mouse. mouse. Things like that. All right, so we're going to read this story. And if you hear a rhyming word, what should they do? Clap. Clap or touch your nose? Clap. Clap. Okay, you can clap. You want to show us? Cat hat. Perfect. Okay, so what this story needs is a pig in a wig. Let's begin. Oh, a lot of pig noses. What this story needs is a pig in a wig. You see here the pig is bald. Mm. Now All right. a wig. What this story needs is a pig in, in a, a wig. wig. A pig in a wig on a boat. Mm. In a, a moat. With a frog. A dog. And, and a goat, goat on, on a log. Why are they called in the same way? This story also needs a rat. A rat with a hat. On a trunk with a skunk in a house. With a mouse and a panda in a blouse. A blouse is another word for a shirt. Yeah. Hey, it's getting crowded in here, don't you think? off of this boat before we all sink. Good boy. What this story needs is a pig in a wig on a boat, not a house with a mouse or a panda in a blouse, not a rat with a hat or a skunk on a trunk, not a frog, a dog, or a goat on a log. What this story needs is a pig in a, in a wig, wig, on a boat, boat in a moat, having fun in the sun on her own, all alone. Hey, I made a mistake when I sent you away. Can you swim back so we can all play? What this story needs now is... A, a bigger, bigger boat. boat in a moat. Okay. And more pig nose. The end. So did you hear some rhyming words? I hope you enjoyed the story. And hopefully you're all spending time with your families and learning and being nice, safe, and healthy. And we'll see you next time. And Michael said, if you like this story, give a thumbs up. Did you like it? Okay. Bye, everyone. Be healthy.